Okay, folks, Crippled Guy Outdoors. We're out here on an outing. It's 6.30 in the morning and I've been fishing for two hours already. So what we've got here is we're working bobbers. See if you can see that. See, there's the graph there. So you can see on the graph, there's my bait there. There's my bait right there, and see that? Those red lights below my bait, that's fish. See that, now he's above my bait. But if I jig it like this, I can probably get one of those that are laying down there to bite, see? And then you gotta wash the bobber too. I got my phone directly over my hole, so I'm going to not share this video because I've dropped it in the lake, so I'm screwed there. But I've been out here, I got out here about uh, 4.30 this morning. I gotta get some water. Got up about three o'clock, got out of town about three o'clock or so. Was on the lake by 4.30. And it's now 6.30 and I've picked up, I've picked up four crappies. I've uh, been able to keep three. Uh, a couple of them that are 12s, but not like the the limits of uh, 20 crappies, average 12 and a half inches per outing is what we were doing last year. Here, 20 crappies, so two limits. The average size was 12 and a half inches and they were thick crappies. And we would get them 13 to up to 14 inches. And I know we lost a couple that were at least pushing 15 that got off last year so we're out here as you can see it's it's very sparse with fishermen out here but we're doing it we're going to see if we can get a few more I just caught one, so stay tuned for more action. Okay, here we got one, folks. Let's see if I can. It's not a big one, it's not a keeper. Nope, that one there. Keeper in most lakes, not here. No, they have to be large. Here's what we're dealing with, folks. There's my bait. It's moving. Okay, there's my jig. Now, I'm going to drop it down. See, those are fish underneath there. And then, after that green thing, then that's the bottom. Right there, right about six o'clock is the bottom. So all those three, sorry, there's three fish down there, and I got my, I got my jig right in front of them. So that's what we're working with. We've got crappies that have moved in, and just like last time, they would look. But it wasn't hand over fist. So we'll see what happens. That's all we can do. Of course, we are fishing no tell them. No tell them lake. So yeah, although I'm disabled, 
I come out here, drive out here onto the lake with my auger. It's a drill auger. You wouldn't think it by looking at it, but that drill auger cuts through 24 inches of ice in 12 seconds. It's amazing. Fueled by a brushless Milwaukee drill. I wouldn't have any other. It allows me, because it's lightweight, so for me, having not much use of my legs, uh, this lightweight drill with this handle is perfect for me because I can just simply sit in my truck here and put my legs down over the side and drill the hole down and then reverse the drill. It cleans out the hole, pushes the ice down under and then bring it up and you're done in about 30 seconds. You're in within a minute, you're fishing. So, and then with the graph, but, so I'm still able to do it, 57 now, so not quite as extreme, but it, at least I'm out and I'm getting it done and I'm still able to do it, which proves that I must still have it. I thought perhaps I had lost it, but it's not lost yet. I'm still out and able to do it, although they're not biting. Look at that. I'm about ready to wrap it up. You see my that line that's moving up? That's my jig. And you can see there's a crappie there, sitting there under it. That's what that, now it's gone now. So they're just sitting there, but they're not taking it. So it's going on about 7 a.m. Usually, I'm, usually you're done out here with your limit by 6:45 with your 20. We're doing something a little different today. We're over by uh, No Tell 'em. It's uh, Yaya Wishinu. It's an Indian lake. And uh, it seems to produce pretty well in the wintertime. So that's where we're at. But usually they're a lot, they're much larger. And uh, it's hand over fist. But usually you're done by 7 o'clock. By the time it's getting light like this, usually you're done. And then you can see there's... There's a guy going out to be fishing. If you look way down yonder, about a mile and a half up there, there's a group of tulipy fishermen with their trucks. They just make a circle in the hole out there, the outside of the hole, and they fish for tulipies, which is exactly what I should probably be doing. I might think I th might think of running up there quick, so we'll see what happens. So I think that wraps it up for Ya Ya Wish You Knew, and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode.